Christine Johnson live for us right in the path of totality. She's got the glasses ready to roll falls streaming behind her. Hello, Christine. I have my glasses. I have my glasses because I follow the rules, Chris and Mary. <laughs> we do need the glasses, definitely. Upwards of one million people are going to be here today to watch the eclipse. The sun is shining through the clouds as I speak. Unfortunately, the cloud cover is supposed to get thicker as the day goes on, but we're going to be optimistic and hope for the best. Let's talk a little bit about the science of today. We have a special guest here with us, Dr. Amanda Nam. Come on in. She is with NASA. and. Doctor, you want to come a little bit closer to me? Yeah, no, it's good. Um, talk a little bit about what NASA is looking for today and what you guys have been talking about in your meetings um, expecting this eclipse. Yeah, so um, I'm really excited to be up here uh, for the eclipse, and uh, we've been talking about this for weeks and weeks, so it's nice that the day is finally here. Uh, so uh, what we're looking for is we're hoping to be able to see um, anything through the clouds, of course, um, but one of the uh, really fascinating parts about this is being able to see the, what's called the corona, which is uh, the outer atmosphere of the sun. It forms a crown. That's last. And this is there. during totality, correct? It's during totality, exactly. Um, and and so um, it's usually too faint to be able to see um, otherwise. And so this is really special um, uh, for uh, scientists to be able to see this in an, at a time that we usually can't. Uh, and so we're going to be able to learn about the upper atmosphere of the sun uh, during this time, especially. And what are you learning from this? you know, during totality. Like you're, you're saying you're going to be able to observe it, but what right. do you learn from that? So we can see structures in it. Um, uh, there are images around the internet you can look now in preparation, um, but there's sort of like lines in it. Um, and um, we can see the structure and we um, hopefully will be able to get a sense of uh, temperatures and things um, for the upper atmosphere of the sun. Uh, the solar eclipse will also affect our atmosphere, uh, the upper atmosphere of our planet, and um, NASA is actually sending up a couple of sound, sounding rockets um, from Virginia to um, understand how the solar eclipse changes what's called the ionosphere, the upper atmosphere of, of Earth um, during this few minutes of totality. So we've been talking a lot about the cloud cover here today. Will we still be able to, if we can't see the eclipse, will we still be able to sense it and feel it? Yes, actually. Um, so uh, you'll still notice it get dark. Um, the sun will still be covered um, and it will noticeably get colder. Obviously, it's a bit chilly this morning, so I don't know if it'll be um, that same temperature later in the afternoon. Um, and also, we possibly will be able to observe uh, changes in animal behavior um, because they might think it's nighttime and they'll be like, OK, it's time for me to get ready for bed, you know, and they start their um, processes and then be very confused a few minutes later when the sun comes back out. Uh, so yes, you'll still be able to experience some of the sensory um, activity related to it, uh, but you know, I'm obviously hoping that we'll be able to see some of the, the totality. If not, we'll be able to see the earlier part potentially where the, the moon is sort of taking a bite out of the yeah. disk of the sun. Yeah. So you know, anything at this point I think will be um, a bonus for me. Yeah. Anything, right? Yeah. Same. Have you ever seen totality before? So I would just have a really kind of vague memory of going out in elementary school um, and I did what we call an indirect method of observing um, the eclipse where you put the waffle yeah. pattern there and you can see it on the ground. I mean, I was in elementary school. So, <laughs> so it's been a while, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, if we don't see it today, doctor, unfortunately, the next time we're going to be able to see it in New York is May 1st, 2079. And, you know, we might be up in the stars likely yes. at that point in time. Yes, but thank you, doctor. We appreciate it. Yeah, of course. Appreciate it. And good luck today. I hope we can see something. You, you All right. So we're going to continue to hope for the best here in Niagara Falls. Again, 60% cloud cover expected. Maybe we'll get a break. Let's keep our fingers crossed, Chris and Mary. Hey, Christine, speak for yourself. I plan on being around for the next one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Christine. Thank you very much.